In today's crew bit, we're going to shoot a row 3 wing using the cross control approach with the point of view camera. Let's go. So before we watch the video, let's again talk about what I'm trying to accomplish here. So we've got a view from the top and from behind. And if I'm looking at the top, I want to keep the leading edge of my canopy directly aligned with the shoulder of the person that I'm going to dock on or the catcher. And so I don't want to be behind. I don't want to be in front. I want to be just perfectly lined up on the fence, on the wall, however you want to put that. But I want to be lined up with that shoulder. And then if I'm looking from behind, the canopy height of my canopy, I want to start with my canopy already at the same height as the shoulder of the catcher. And so I'm just going to come flat across and dock on that shoulder. I'm not getting behind. I'm not getting in front. Just docking right on that shoulder. So what we're showing here is we've got the camera from behind the formation on the left side and then I've got a camera on the top of my head on the right side here and we've got them synced up so you can see from behind what it looks like and then from my point of view what it looks like and we're going to go ahead and we're going to let that play and so you can see I'm lining up just dead even with where I need to dock on. My canopy's lined up with the shoulder from front to back and from top to bottom. And then I just come right over and put it right on there. So I'm coming directly over from the side. I'm not losing altitude. I'm not gaining altitude. I'm not coming from behind. Just bringing it just flat over, right? And I'm using cross control to do that. And so here it is in slow motion again so you can kind of Watch it, that was kind of fast, but the reality is if we are going to come in flat, we are going to have to come a little bit fast at it, and we need to get rid of that extra speed. So how do we do that? We can either do it one of two ways. I could do it using the outside toggle, or in this case, I use the cross control. And so you can see here I'm coming in on cross control, and I'm just setting it right on the shoulder right there to where he can dip in. And then look how easy it is for that lockup. They've got all the room in the world, and if they came in flat, then they the next person has all the room in the world, and we can just send everybody in to where we can get these uh, sequential formations all done. And that's it for today's crew bit. Just showing you how to do a row three wing with cross control. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me. Thank you.